Ah, não. Good morning. Today's the day we're turning all this wood that's lying around into usable firework, and Nick has just bought the coolest, coolest machine to do it with. Look inside this absolutely ginormous nest. So this nest is, and I'm sure some more birdie knowledgeable people on here will be able to tell me, apparently it's from like a giant crow, which is like a thing, I've never seen one, but the neighbors say it's a giant crow and it was always kind of circling the chateau and there's a couple of its nests all about, but look, it's gonna have to move somewhere else this year because I can't have birds living in the chateau, unfortunately. Well, annoyingly, the best bit, my camera just overheated and died, but I got this beam down. Basically, I was able to lift it up with the lifter and just controlled lift it down all by myself. And it seems like such an easy thing now, but if you remember the first one I took out where I nearly, you know, pulled myself over the side and died. What a game changer.
to it. So what what number are we looking for? We really ideally want to be between about 15 and 17 percent moisture. Right, and that's ready for burning. Yeah. So what are we at mostly? Well, with the dead pine as you just seen, that was reading about 15 percent. So by the time it's had the air to it, it's going to be kindling wood. Yeah. The poplar that come down, that was in the 30s, so it just wants stacking, get the air through it for a year, keep checking it with ease. Now it's split, it's going to dry a lot quicker. Get that down to below about 17 and we'll be ready to go for the okay. year. For you. So looking about a year mostly for burning this in. Yeah. yeah, but it's going to dry quicker now it's split. It's just going to leave it open this winter, let the weather through it. Yeah. Get it in the sun next year and get it under cover. Yeah. Probably next um, autumn. Cool. And you'll it'll be good good to go. beams out relatively safely beautiful so much easier with this lifter thing unreal the difference that makes so we're now ready to start the rebuild so what's going to happen is that all these lintels need to come out they're all either on the verge of collapse or collapsed or you know just seriously wonky they've got to be come out and then I've got to rebuild up to where the lintels are, put all new lintels in, get a good base layer for then the I-beams to go on, and then carry on the rebuild after that. I think this is probably by far the most involved structural work. Obviously I've re-bricked the other wall, but you know, that was mainly taking down stuff. This is really adding stuff and lintels and it's gonna make the whole top of the building stronger. It's gonna be quite a big job. But I'll be so glad when it's done. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow.